important for our time that we stick to time. Yasmin is joining us. I know we'll we'll just incorporate Achilles um, as he comes along. Oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Okay, recording has started now. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to mute myself and only raise my hand and yell if I need to. Yeah, that's helpful if you do. And I'll try to be sure everybody gets a chance. <coughs> Yasmin, we're just waiting for um, Achilles to get connected. You're on mute, Yasmin. We can't hear you. Yeah, don't worry about it at the minute, Yasmin. Okay. We'll invite you in as, as we go. No, the reason I say I want to say good evening to you all and also that I am in a second meeting on the finance scrutiny. So I unfortunately will have to leave a bit early because I've given them apologies for lateness so I can be with you a bit. Good, we're getting uh, uh, other people joining us. Um, I just was saying informally to others before our meeting began, I'm going to be very strict with time. We're going to finish at eight o'clock, whatever. Um, so um, short questions, please. And please from our councillors, and thank you very much for being here and attending, but succinct answers um, uh, so that we can let as many people as possible. Uh, thank you for all being here. It, this is a very useful forum and something perhaps going forward we can continue with because it's, uh, it is a way of being able to be you know, connected. Um, so there were some leftover questions from the previous meeting that not everyone had the chance to put. And Gary, I'm coming to you because yours was one of them. Um, would you like <laughs> to ask your question? Do you want me to ask both of them at the same time or ask one and then wait to both. both at the same time? Either both will answer or uh, one of them will take it. We'll see. Okay, okay. Well, the first one is um, not from a selfish point of view, but it's it was to do with the Bounds Road closure that's been talked about. Um, as I've already explained to a couple of them, I've got two blue badge holders in my house and four special needs disabled people. Um, personally, I go to the Whittington Hospital a lot. Now, for me, living just off of Brownlow Road, um, I literally go to the top of the road, straight across into Dernsford, Musworth Hill. I'm at the hospital within 15 to 20 minutes. Even with some bad traffic, that can be done and no speeding. Um, if this proposal does go through, I'm actually going to have to go in the opposite direction to the hospital to start off with, because I'm going to have to go down to the North Circular Road. Um, I'm then going to have to make a decision what way to go, but probably around the dog leg, come all the way back to Bounds Green Road and then go that way. The problem is also coming back because it seems like we've been cut off from getting back into our own borough. And if I come back from the hospital and I come down Dernsford opposite Brownlow Road where the station is, and I can't go across into Brownlow, again, I've either got to go left down to the North Circular Road, but there's no right turn at the bottom there. So I would have to go all the way up to New Southgate and then do a massive great big circle to come round Bowes Road, Wilmer Way, and then come up off of Powys Lane. If I turn right at the bottom, I'd have to go up into Wood Green and then work my way down through there. So it'd be virtually the same time. It just seems ridiculous that they're gonna try and cut us off into getting back into our own borough for that one. Right. That, so that was my first question that I wanted to ask last time. Do you want me to stop there for yeah, the second um, one? Can we have a comment about this? This is about important and essential uh, journeys um, for hospitals, but equally it affects everybody. Yeah. yeah, I was only using it for me because I go to the, I know other people go there for different reasons, but my wife goes there to use the organic shop, so she won't even be able to do that. Um, Achilles, do you want to comment? Yes, of course. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. Hello, everybody. So, sorry if I was a bit late trying to log on. Um, I th um, Mr. Boudier, Gary? Yeah. Um, yeah. Good to talk to you. Gary's fine. 
Gary, thanks, Gary. And Achilles is fine. <laughs> um, good to talk to you. No, uh, very, very much uh, empathise with, with what you're saying. And, and I think that's why for a long time, right from the word go, both Yasmin and I argued quite vociferously about what the contact had been or the council was making with blue badge holders um, and actually speaking to them and also to carers. Finally, mm. finally, last week, I think it was last week, they, issue, they issued a, a consultation letter, which hopefully yeah, we have before. received. The week before, was it, yeah. Gary? OK, so that was a uh, and, and that was us pressing and arguing for it. I mean, they gave us various reasons as to why they couldn't do it because of of da data collection reasons and so on. But looks like hopefully they've now found a way. So very much hear and understand what you're saying and sympathize and empathize with what you're saying. Um, I'm I am pleased that the council has done that letter of consultation. Please complete it, and I think we we are we are pushing for more direct uh, consultation with blue badge holders, not not just a paper written one, but actually direct face to face, even if it's through a webinar or somehow. Which I think mm. that is being offered as an option. I, I would hope, with your views and those of other blue badge holders, to do recognise the problems in terms of trying to get to somewhere like the Whittington, or indeed anywhere or indeed anywhere when you're having to ne negotiate the traffic on the North Circular Road and having to go around the houses. It's important mm. to have those views and actually try and shape what goes forward. Yeah. Well, you don't mind me cutting back in on that. Of, of when course. I listened to um, Councillor Barnes the other day on the one that I, I couldn't talk to, he said that he wanted to push all the traffic onto main roads. Yeah. yeah. And I don't and, know what, I mean, I know a lot of you don't. I'm actually a, an historian for Enfield. So I know a lot more about places. Brownlow Road has been there decades before the North Circular even came. It's always been the main road from Enfield to Musville Hill. Yeah. Now, I know I use it as a blue badge holder point of view, but I mean, I, I, that was by the by. Anybody should be able to go up to Musville Hill. If he wants to push all the traffic down, like I said, he might talk, he can't even turn left and go down to the north circular because of the no right turn you know yeah. you're only left yeah. one way so yeah. he's actually put in another 20 25 minutes but that was what i tried to get through to where he was saying pushing it onto main roads mm. well i know people live on brownlow road and i, I empathize with that but people live on the other main roads as well exactly you know? so yeah. that's what i was trying to get through to him like because he, he won't talk to me and even when i and i know ian barnes but now he's stopped talking to me as well so you, can, you can talk to us and we, we'll certainly pass your comments on. And, you know, if you want to write to us with them, <coughs> make sure that they not only get to Ian, but, but to the officers who, who, are, who are actually managing and running the scheme. And, yeah. and, and just on the issue of the North Circular Road, and, and I'm sure Yasmin will want to speak as well and others will, so I don't want to kind of like hog the time. I think, and, and again, what, what we've been very clear to, to, to Ian about and officers is we are very concerned about if, if you're going to, if the, the, their objective in terms of pushing traffic onto the North Circular Road and onto, on, and onto the main roads and so on, is the effect mm. on people on, on the North Circular Road. You know, the amount of pollution that that is going to generate. And what we argue, and this is about this, the, the, this equalities argument about people and poverty. You know, the people who live onto the North Circular Road and, and Yasmin and I have a history of kind of like campaigning for them when these houses were owned by, by TFL. You know, it's social mm. housing. It's social housing. So we don't want, you know, there, there are poverty issues here. There are poverty equality issues here, which we think the council should be taking on board when it thinks about a, a scheme such as this. Mm. If I could kindly come in there, um, uh, Janet, if you're chairing. I mean, Achilles has said most of, most of what needs to be said, but just as an additional point, um, we have also raised the fact that the natural community for um, 
people in this area mm. to go to for their shopping and exactly. for their doctors, etc., the etc., et is all focused southwards. It's not yeah. because of the way that the transport has been working <coughs> and so forth. It's all focused southwards, and this is this is a natural community. Um, mm. And you know, it's going to inconvenience a lot of people. And we raise the issue of the total lack of infrastructure going yeah. further north for everybody living in West Bowes. So on the back of that, we managed to get, you will see uh, the vaccination and we're trying to get the pop-up clinic in, in bound screen in, in respect of COVID. So, you know, the points you raise are absolutely valid. Um, and, um, you know, I think the more you say that, you know, and you can reference it, it's gonna really help us, you know, with the arguments. Okay, I would just ask that you put that through. Anna, you wanted just to uh, give um, us Yeah, on, on the, on the um, matter of um, hospital visits, I mean, somebody me uh, messaged me yesterday, in fact, actually, that it took them over an hour to get back home following having treatment um, at, uh, at Royal Free. And that did lead to, she, she was already, already very tired and drained from, uh, from the treatment that she's had. And the additional stress and the anxiety and the not mm. knowing when you'll be able to get back home. And that leads to other sort of physical issues like needing to go to the toilet and things like that as well. Um, yeah. they, they, need, they need to be taken into consideration. And it's not just blue badge holders, but there's lots of people having treatment in lots of different hospitals. Yeah. yeah. And I'll sure. add something here that having listened to the scrutiny meeting last night, the North Circular was not mentioned no. now major trunk road not a main road as such so it is the big game changer for the bose ltn and there was no recognition last night that that is the issue the biggest issue that people are facing and you know it's causing these problems of the journeys that people are describing so please on our behalf try to get that message through to Ian Barnes and Richard Eason because they don't listen to us. They blank us now, even after we your- May I say something there to you, Janet? Actually, we did raise that with them because uh, in terms of the LTNs may have worked very well in certain areas, but actually in sandwich between huge motorways and things like this, I think there needs to be a lot more uh, understanding of the particular problems that you exactly raise. Uh, okay. And we have we have said, <clears throat> please have a look, you know, in other places. Yeah, well, it's more than a look. Uh, um, Roland? You need oh, hi there. Thank you. Yes, Janet. Uh, I'd like to come in there. Um, I'm not happy with you writing to Ian Barnes with our concerns. I want to see him engaging with our community in open recorded meetings. He has ducked this at every opportunity. If I... I Tw tweeted a little bit within the last few weeks as soon as i tweet he is commenting on it straight away he snipes from the sidelines yet he will not engage openly yep. in our community mm. and this is not acceptable and i expect you as councillors to bring him to account he and is richard eason that uh, richard eason is not an elected representative of the council councillor barnes is and I expect to see him, and I expect to see Catherine Cheever here tonight as our third elected representative of Bose. And I'm exceedingly disappointed not to see her here. And her, her, her absence speaks volumes, as far as I'm concerned. The next thing I want to ask you both was, were you in, in attendance in the meeting last night? If you put your hands up in the council meeting, were you there? Were you possible to? I, I was listening in. I was you were listening. listening. In. Were, you, were you allowed to comment? Were you allowed to ask questions? No. No, you no, weren't. Was okay. So we, we weren't give, because because it, it's run as a what's known as a team's live event. I don't know if you know. I know. I'm aware of that. Okay, yeah. but I mean, yeah, I, I've been very disappointed. I haven't I was, seen enough representation from either of you or, or any of the councillors. I feel like there's a small group in this area who are working really hard to just bring some democratic accountability into this exercise. And I really feel we're being let down and I really want to see us stepping up. I appreciate you both coming tonight. I'm very disappointed by Catherine's absence, but let's move on. Thank you. Okay. Did you want the second question or not? If I may, if oh, I may, no, Janet, just... Um, Go on, uh, Gary. 
Sorry. You want me to go the second one? But yeah. the second one was, and I don't know if the councillors know this, um, well, my son goes to St Mark's Autistic Daycare Centre in Bushill Park. Um, I am very heavily involved with them over there. They, until I actually told them <coughs> two weeks ago, or about a week and a half ago, they didn't even know that any of the roads had been closed over here. Now, my son's journey, who he gets picked up, they, the bus that he's on goes into the uh, the Fox Lane LTNs, as they are now, but they're on the Fox Lane estate. They then come down Powys Lane, pick him up here. They go to the top into Maidstone Road, which if there's going to be a bus gate there, they're not allowed to go through it. They pick a young person up in Maidstone. They then used to go down to the end of Maidstone and they pick three more up that are on the gated bit of the estate now. Now, again, if they come and pick him up now, they're going to have to forget about the boy that's at the top, the young lad, and then if they come and pick Tony up here, they've then got to go back down to the North Circular because it's the only really way onto that part of the estate there now to pick him up. But the thing was, none of them, they're only one autistic centre. Their buses that they, although they're specially adapted, they're not allowed to go down bus lanes. They can't go through bus gates. They get fined. Uh, unless they use their 17 seater, which they'd never get down my road if they use that. Um, and like I said, and until I mentioned it to them eight, nine days ago, they hadn't even been told. The Enfield Council hadn't even been in touch with them. And I don't know how many other autistic centres there are in Enfield that get picked up, but so Tony's already on a bus for 40 minutes. Now, if they've got to somehow try and do it, I can see him being on a bus for an hour and a half. He won't be on a bus for an hour and a half it would totally change his life. He, he couldn't do that. He'd get worked up. And there's, should I, I don't know how to put it, worse children, you know, more disabled than what my son is that are on those buses. They can't, he can't sit on there for an hour and a half and not go to the toilet. So, so this is another... I didn't understand why Enfield Council are not letting autistic societies that have buses going all around the borough that they close roads off. And if yeah. they're going to do Connell like he was opening to last night, I know they pick about four up off of there as well. Yeah, so this is um, another issue about specialist services um, not being consulted uh, about yeah. the changes that have major impact. Major impact, yeah. yeah. Not only that, we are six months into this and yes. disabilities, Tony will fill you in. You From still day one, I asked. Been contacting people. Yeah. We've only now seen something going out as a consultation six months in. It was meant to end now. You know, mm -hmm. this is shocking and not acceptable. It really isn't. I'm sorry. Could, I, could, I, could I come in there, actually? Because we have made the point that, you know, the physical disabilities seems to be what um is being concentrated on and all due respect that is a very serious issue but we have also raised the issue just very very recently that you need to be considering any kind of other disabilities that might include mental disabilities it's, it might it's include all people. it's all disabilities yasmin we are under one great big umbrella i'm yes. sorry yeah. yes, when i talk there about needs to this be a disabled one minute one minute Jasmine, I when I talk about, saying, sorry? Uh, and I'm sorry you can't at the moment because it's I'm really incest. When I talk about disabilities, I don't talk about my personal disabilities. I talk about everybody that has to say <clears throat> we all have different needs at different times. Like um, Gary's just said, his boy can't sit in a van or sorry, a coach or whatever bus. mini bus for 40 minutes. I can't do 30 minutes. So we've all got different issues. The thing is that nobody has bothered from day one. I asked Richard Eason at Maystone Road and he said to me, we were all informed, which was an outright lie. And he lied again last night. OK, this has got to stop. There is Equalities Act for a reason. Now, we want it answered. We want it dealt with and we don't want to wait any longer. If I, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't uh, well, manage to finish what I was even saying, but anyway, no worries. Um, yes. Basically, we have we have underlined, underscored everything that you have said, can, can, and we're glad the forms are now with you. And I'm sorry it's too late, but it's there now. Okay, Achilles. I, I was going to say one of the things that I've been trying to do um, 
is, is to contact organizations that, that elderly or disabled people may use. So, so for example, I, I've been um, trying to get figures from Dial a Ride, um, which is run by TFL. I've been trying to get figures from them in terms of their contact uh, uh, by their drivers or dial a ride with residents within the LTN area and what the impact has been. It hasn't been fruitful. Their response hasn't been very fruitful. And so I've now gone to Joanne McCartney's office and to, to ask her if she can get the, the information for me. Um, th there's also uh, a, an Enfield organisation that, that, that runs these, which is, um, is it Enfield Disabled Transport? I've been trying to contact EPA. So I've been EPA. trying to contact, yeah, trying to contact them to see, because I, I think there is an argument, as you said, for organisations like dial ride ETA, which, which our good friend Jeff Rodin, when, when he left the council, worked for, you may know him. Um, volunteered for, uh, I think there is good argument why they should be allowed through the Warwick Road um, barrier uh, and, and so on. As, as, as you said, Gary, there is good argument for that. Um, I think there's- Sorry, right Fanny, though, if you go to Capital House in Edmonton, in mm -hmm. Capital, that's where a lot of the disability groups, units, they're all based there. Yeah. And that, they're not there at the moment because of the lockdown, but that's yeah. where they're all based. And that's where you can get a lot of your information, not just about disabled children, but disabled adults, special groups. They're all based in there. C Gary, could you, could you send, what we would need you mind contacting me after the meeting with details of that? And I'll, and I'll follow that up because I've been trying to get information on that. Yeah, I've been, I have been sending it out. I have been mentioning yeah. it, but... Yeah, if you could send it to me directly, you've got my, 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 my email or phone number or something. Just let me yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Sorry, we yeah. all feel for you, but we all want movement around the borough. Oh, yeah, no, that's we all, I, I said live, from the start, not just for me. Sorry. I wish he's bringing it out. Yeah, okay. Look, ask Ed as he's had his hand up for a long time. We're 22 minutes in, and I know that <coughs> several people who've got questions. Ed, Ed is wants one, Norbert does. Uh, Mandy, I think you had a question that wasn't answered last time. So, uh, and did Kieran? You did too. So, can we be sure, please, that we're going to share the time? We don't, uh, me included, don't need to comment on it all, right? Um, so, uh, I'm coming to uh, Norbert uh, next. <coughs> had a oh, thanks a lot, uh, Janet. Um, I had two questions, but uh, whilst I was listening to both our councillors, I found that there was disparity in what they are saying. I, I don't mean to be offensive. And the second question comes to light, which was that if you have been doing everything you say you have been doing at council level, at meetings and gathering information from various sources, my question was, you're representing us. And therefore, when you're representing us to the council cabinet, what effect have you said to them to make them change this LTN for us. Bearing in mind what Gary is saying about disabled people, what Tony has been saying about people, what we have been saying about people who cannot get in and out of our area. It's right across the, the board of London. Why is it that Ian Barnes is not talking to us? Why is he fobbing off Richard Eason? These are the questions that I'm saying is, if you were to represent us and say, there is one issue here, it's not the North Circular, it's not Bounds Green Road. It's not the closures. It's one closure. We're asking for one of the sudden roads and the sudden exit to Bounds Green Road to be open. We don't want the bus gate because it's going to cause a lot of headache throughout Harringay, throughout Enfield, throughout Barnet. This is something that no one has thought about. No one has actually gone into. So my question is simply this. If you have done all that you say you have done and scored and underlined and everything, why isn't there any movement? Why isn't there any movement for us after the, what Roland said? Six months have gone by. Six months have gone by and we're still in the same position as when the barricades went up. Okay. And I mean barricades. Can I get Each... the councillors to come in? Yasmin first, then Achilles. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Norbert, for that question. Now, as you 
will be well aware, and this is, there is no, no cloak and dagger about this. This- There is no transparency either, Yasmin. Yeah, uh, look, can I please say to you that we, 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 we have also come to, let us start from the beginning. How did we get into this? We got into this whole thing because we were trying to help roads in the West Bowes area with the traffic problem. That was the whole rationale for this thing. And that is why, you know, there was some work done on Warwick Road. Some of it was, you know, helping out. And that's how we got into all of this. Now, when you say, why hasn't it had an effect? The reason for this is because it is- Why haven't you had any effect? No, no we council. haven't had any effect. Yeah. Okay. Well, why isn't that? As we- council, let, 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 Why let, didn't let you a, have an effect? Sorry, us, I don't mean it, to butt in, but you must say it correctly. No, no. Okay, why didn't we have any effect? A, this is an experimental traffic order. So the consultation is going on. It's a process that has not reported on yet. But in the meantime, there have been very serious issues that we have raised regarding the emergency services. And we have got some, some, some understanding of that now and things are going on. Letter writing is going on, but we obviously can't report the answers yet because we have not had them yet. There have been other issues, for example, the disabled, we went on and on about this and yes, it is belated and we are very sorry about this, but we did get some movement on this. On the KPIs and what the actual monitoring and evaluation will be, we have been asking, what are you actually monitoring? How can we say whether it's a success? <clears throat> and now we are actually getting officers to say things like, well, pollution levels are one thing we'll be reporting on. Now, modeling, Jas Yasmin, modeling. You can't yeah. model. We want actual data. Exactly. No, you but, can't but, model. But this is, this is right. what we have asked for, and we have had some movement on it. Now, don't ever forget that there are three things that may happen in this whole scheme. It may stay, it may go, it may be modified. And that approach has not changed. I so don't please, like anyone telling me, right, Jasmine, to point a gun in my head, put a bullet in the chamber, spin it, and let's see if Russian roulette wins. Yeah. This is not democracy. Right. No, but you know? And it's six months down the line. And yeah. the question still remains. I remain. appreciate that, and I appreciate that. Please, you Janet, just, just one second. I won't, I won't say any more. I won't get upset. You cannot say you've represented us and say the same thing that you've done now. You've asked for this. They've given you this. They've given you that. And Gary is not going to talk now today saying that he's still waiting for something. And you said belated disability, something or the other is going to come. What's belated about it? Nothing's come through. You're no, not going to come through. The form has Nothing's come gone through. through. Nothing's come through. That's what I'm saying. You cannot, has come you cannot I'm sorry just... if you feel that that is not sufficient, but it has come through. Well, no, 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 my question is relatively similar. It's very same as it was before. If you are going to be able to represent us, and if it is only like the council okay. little notice came in last week that said that 78% of the silent majority is in favor of the LTM, that's regards all of us. Yeah. All of us who are in agreement of I'm the LTM. To, to give other people the opportunity to I just want to make that last point, Janet, if I, if you don't mind, I, I really appreciate that. I don't because want to representation. Her, but I will have to mute people. If we can't, we've got to manage this. There are other people who've got questions. Yeah, but I can't, I can't, have, you, can mute, you can mute me and chuck me out. I don't mind. No, this is not on, democracy. I, I want you to give other people the opportunity. I have given everyone the opportunity. They should have come back with us with formative yeah. information. All right. Uh, I'm going to move to Edis. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Um, uh, listening to uh, Richard Deeson last night, I almost choked. Uh, hearing, exactly. he, hearing <laughs> that they're using a a, a, a model, 
um, to, to predict uh, pollution and traffic. Um, the amount of money that is being pumped into this experiment, and they can't afford to put some tubing in to take <laughs> some recordings. It's ridiculous. That is sickening. They've got millions getting pumped into this, and they yep. haven't got the decency to put a pollution counter, but they've got, they can do it for Bambos on the corner of his road. We are being sacrificed, sacrificed. I, I apologize guys, I'm, I'm gonna be selfish here. Us, you outside, us outside this end of the Bose ward, we're collateral. We are yep. collateral. Yep. Where are our councillors? My road is getting smashed now. Where is everyone? It's a known traffic road. Um, I was told about this 2017 uh, analysis and you come back with some, I'll be honest, with some pathetic answer, probably come from Ian Barnes. We are collateral. We can't, we can't leave our roads. We can't open our windows. My videos are there for everyone to see. And the wording I'm hearing is a minor inconvenience. Really? Yeah. My boy choking to death is a minor inconvenience. I am not putting up with it anymore. I'm fuming. I model, really. <laughs> okay. I don't Next get it. Are we not? Are we not worthy of a pollution counter? It is. We're not human beings, mate. Right. <sighs> so, listen. The message for both of the our councillor is to ask why pollution monitors are not immediately put in place. Modelling is not acceptable in any shape or form. We don't even know what it means. The only way to do it properly is to actually have, um, you know, sensors that will do the job. I will take that up for you in Grenoble Gardens. I know where Eddie's is. I will do that. Yeah, and uh, oh, 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 oh. it's absolutely clear. All right. It should be everywhere, not just take my road. Take it up road, on Connie everywhere. Hatch. Take it up on Dernsford. It needs to be taken up all round, Jasmine. This is not acceptable. And also, when, when residents go onto social media and things like Twitter, sorry to interrupt, and, and say the pollution levels are, for, for example, last week, the pollution monitor at Bose at, at, at three o'clock in the afternoon, it was showing a figure of 124. It, the recommendations there actually said, stay inside, don't go out and do any exercise. That was posted, and the deputy leader of the council said, oh, we're back to square one. Uh, basically back to this old chestnut again uh, we don't need sarcastic comments like that we would like to actually be taken seriously if you've got a monitor that has been installed and is being monitored by a proper institution telling you that these levels are that high right. when when the when the school was closed so this well actually the school was open there was like 20 percent of the the children there but that that could at three o'clock in the afternoon that that school could have been full People are trying to walk up and down the road. Those levels are not acceptable. Yeah. And the traffic on the North Circ is, mm -hmm. it is the North Circ. There's always going to be somewhere. There's always going to be roadworks or accidents. It's always going to be busy. Mm -hmm. You can't force us all to just be using For that one, one road thing. with the levels, uh, those sorts of figures. Uh, last comment, um, uh, Sorry. Eddie. <laughs> Mandy. Sorry, guys, just a quickie. Um, what I don't understand regarding Grenoble Gardens, I'll go back to that again. We have three schools, three not one, not two, three schools. What's going on? Why is more traffic being pushed into roads like us and others? And we've got three schools. And not, not a peep has come out from anyone in the council. Oh, they talk about St. Monica's, one school. What about the schools outside near main roads like, like Tottenham, St. Michael at Bowes, the nursery, the place... They're getting sacked the collateral, and all we go on about is, oh, we've reduced traffic within an LTN. whippy do. But the people outside of the LTN are collateral. I'm not going to put up with we it We don't anymore. even want it in the LTN. I know. Edit. completely agree. <laughs> I feel your pain. I, right. Thank I completely you. agree. It's I'm a minority that have pushed this forward, and we are, it's just not on. Right. There, there is more than one, two, or three schools in this borough. And we must not forget the people that live on main roads or within right. within 50 to 100 metres of main roads. We all are the same. Coming we should all be treated the same. Mandy, I'm coming to you. Thank you. Need to unmute yourself, Mandy. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, 
I'm just going to just bring up something that Janet's already mentioned and a few of you have already mentioned already, and that is the elephant in the room, which is the North Circular, uh, the Bounds Green Road and the High Road. So those three main roads. And in the Haringey presentation um, a couple of weeks ago, Neil Goldberg, who's the tra transport planning officer, I think, um, said that a large proportion um, of that traffic is through traffic. Um, do we know... Have we got figures for that? How much is through traffic? And um, and what is actually being done to address that? Because I just don't understand how the LTN can actually work without that being addressed first. It's just, it just is ridiculous. Um, and my second mini question is, because um, I live in the Haringey side just, I'm in, on Palmerston Road. Um, what What is being discussed between Enfield and Haringey? Because we don't actually know. <laughs> And I don't know if you've got any sort of latest news on that that you can share with us. Thank you. Just is shaking your head. Are you able to comment on that? Uh, on mute. mute. Yeah. Sorry, was that to me? Yes. Sorry. Um, the, the only thing is that, is that discussions are taking place with, with Haringey and uh, to see how they may be able to work together in terms of what's being proposed in Enfield and what's being proposed in in Harrogate, and and so therefore not 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 regard the bar, the Barra boundary as just some something that 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 can't that that that, that can't the the. The, the, as one holistic area and not let the borough boundaries get in the way of that. So I know there's some discussions going going on there. What those discussions are, though, I, I'm not clear about. I don't know. I don't know if Yasmin does, but I certainly don't. Are you know. able to get that information for us? Is, is there any, well, any news you can give us at all? Well, like we, we, yeah, we have asked for it. We have asked what, what conversations are going forward. And, and certainly one of the... Um, uh, something that I, 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 I've, I've asked for is particularly with regards to when we heard that funding had been allocated for phase two and the bus gate, I asked, well, what does that now mean? You know, how are you progressing that? How do you intend to progress that? What are your discussions with Haringey? And, and can we be part of that as the ward councillors? So we are asking for that um, and we'll keep pushing for that. Uh, Kelly, sorry, <laughs> that, that, so Mandy, that, that's, that they said yesterday they're not in a design phase, yet they're meeting weekly. If you're not getting an answer of what they're talking about, I want you to be asking them daily. It's no good being fobbed off. You have to be on this and keeping us well, updated. Well, we, we smoke and mirrors, Achilles. Well, well, well sorry, if, Mandy. If, if I may, if I may. Uh, Bob, is this something you wanted to comment on? Um, I think Achilles is still coming. You, know, you, you, you said earlier, you, if I, can I, Janet? Yeah, yes, go on. Achilles, Who, who's go on, to? Bob, Bob. No, but, but I was going to say, I mean, I mean, Roland was saying earlier, you know, that he, he wanted to, you know, to engage with Ian Barnes and so on. Well, and, and, and I think that's right, and you should be engaging with him. I think, you know, everybody I've should. asked him, we've asked him multiple times. And, and what I was doing. going to say, and what I was going to say, that, you know, the, the council has agreed to the to the webinar next week. So I hope that's, people sign up. We want, sign we up want monthly meetings that are recorded, open so, and shared, Achilles. Is that too so, much to ask in a democracy? I mean, I would just... So, so you know, no, you invited us, and we gladly come. And, yes, Janet. Sorry, Janet. Disappointed that um, Councillor Cheever didn't attend. Um, didn't bother to attend. She's one of our elected representatives. I know Achilles has been really helpful. Um, Yasmin, I've not heard too much from, but um, it's just a bit, you know, consider using that legal route. I just thought it was ridiculous. Sorry to interrupt. But, um, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Coming to you for a question later. Um, okay. okay. Have you finished? Oh, what, what I was going to say, if I may, Janet. I mean. Well, what I was going to say is, is um, the, the webinar is taking place and it's something that, we, that we, we've asked for in terms of greater engagement. I hope there will be even greater engagement going forward. Um, after our last meeting, you wrote to us and we replied on, I think, on all the questions that, that you put I want to, to us. I to come so on to that, that you specifically. Coming to you later. There were two specifically. You, 
you, you specifically asked of me and I have come back to back to you with the responses I have got and I've been pressing on those and you would have seen from my correspondence I didn't let it go to just one one email and one reply but I have been quest been um, pushing all on those we did push on the blue bad bad, bad blue badge holders sorry and the care and the and the and the carers and we're getting some movement there where there are i think there and, and that shows that, that there has been movement and recognition of our argument in the same way there has been recognition of our argument with regards to the north circular road and the people that live there um, we have pushed on what is what is being monitored, and I have an email here of my correspondence about asking exactly what roads are being monitored and how, and the traffic counts and the TFL and bus journeys and so on, to the point where I've actually pushed and got the chief executive involved. So we do get some answers on that. So we are pushing on on, on all of those fronts. But I would ask, uh, you know, we would say that you know, please go to the web webinar on on the 18th you know there'll be an opportunity there to put your questions it, it is it is something that we've been asking for and, and i hope it, it it is something that that, that that can be done again okay look from a time point of view we've got 20 minutes bob wants to comment i want to give kieran a chance to ask his question and then i'm coming to you roland okay I, i'm going to comment in reverse order to what i wrote down um, uh, Achilles and Yasmin, personally, I, I appreciate you standing up and representing us. I just think you need to stand up and scream a lot louder when you're talking to the rest of the council, especially Mr. Barnes and the leader of the council, who show a distinct lack of respect to the community that, we're rep that we represent here. We're not elected representatives, <coughs> I think, in my personal opinion, if I had a dozen people requesting a meeting every month, representing 1,600 people who signed a petition, and you weren't standing up in council, jumping up and down and saying this needs direct attention, I'd be completely embarrassed to say that I'm a representative of the people. Yeah, I think my point. Hold on, I think there's a distinct lack of transparency from the council, not necessarily you guys, you're doing what you can do, but I think you're being um, you've got blinders on or blinders have been put on you like racehorses that aren't supposed to see what's going on. And I think Barnes and, and Kaliskin and the, the quorum at the top are, are putting you into the corner. And I think uh, like, like the, um, the dancing film, you know, baby, you got to stand up for yourself. So it's time to, time to really stand up. And what really irks me is, as Igis said about his neighborhood, uh, there are three schools there. What we see in the media are selective targeting of trophy sites. They're the sites that they can say, oh, look how good we did. We cut down the pollution here. And oh, look how much traffic we've cut down here. But they completely ignore the disaster that is the A406. The North Circular has never been a great road, but it's even worse now. It takes me 20 to 30 minutes more to get to jobs. I carry equipment, I have places to go. I do six or seven site visits in a week. Uh, you know, picking on certain neighborhoods is not what a council is supposed to do. Enfield Council should stick up for everybody in Enfield, including us, not just the places that certain council members want to want to affect. So let's stop looking at trophy locations and look at the whole council. That's all I'm going to say. May I respond to that, Janet? Uh, May I respond, Janet? Uh, uh, can I ask, get Kieran to ask a question, and if you could wrap it together, I'm concerned about time. 15 minutes to go. Kieran? Um, I've got a couple of questions, but if you want to respond to Yasmin before I quickly go on to my point, if you keep it short. Okay, let me say about uh, the, 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 the uh, Grenoble Gardens and the three schools. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I have been in correspondence there for some time, and we got the school streets in there because we were very concerned. I was certainly deeply concerned about the fact that there was so much traffic. I'm in touch with loads of the residents in there and we've got three schools and kids coming out on there. Now, the problem was that the schools themselves did not agree. They were given the school streets plan, but they did not agree 
to take it on. And the reason- Do you have any proof of that? May I please, may I please, I have, I've actually copied the letters I have received to the lady, Helen, who is down there. Um, uh, so she's got all the copies of the correspondence. Can you forward it on to us as a freedom of information request? Well, uh, if I can, of course. If I can, I will do that. Why not? It's it's absolutely. I'm very happy yeah, to do Yasmin, that. Yasmin, Yasmin, now, with, all, with all due respect, this is this uh, meeting is you, not about please, school street. I am you have taking, no problem with school street. I am this taking this street. badly. I'm okay. taking this badly because as a woman, you are not allowing me to finish my That's sentences. Has to do with. Uh, Gender. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, no, no, but I'm very sorry. I'm trying to make some points, and yeah. you're not li you're not allowing me to finish. Yeah. I am trying. I'm trying very hard here to help you in understanding that we have made those arguments. The money was given, but the schools didn't take it up. Okay. Fine. What, what, now that's one story. The second point is the point about the counters. I'm going to go back now, and go back and say you must put counters in this road because in in all conscience i cannot watch what's going on in grenoble gardens i think it's appalling thank you i hope you do can i just say one of what the counters need to go down everywhere sorry of the residents in not being heard and action you know because things would change if we were heard and you're getting the level of frustration and cynicism is rising. I have mm. to say that. So I'm coming to Kieran. Quick question, and then I want to give um, Roland an opportunity. I've got two questions, Janet. I'm going to be quick. Um, this is to both Yasmin and uh, Councillor George. Um, firstly, obviously, Ian Barnes has his view. Where do you guys see yourself um, in terms of, you know, how far away are you apart from Enfield Cabinet, um, Labour Cabinet's view? Um, to yours and what, you know what, what do you guys the plans to change in your next nine months in office I think that's one of my first question uh, if you can give a short concise answer to those um, and then secondly are you guys planning to stand next time round um, if so would it you know um, would it be under labour or would it be as an independent and I think thirdly I'm sorry um, within the next nine months considering you know we can talk about what's happened etc you guys do for us within the next month or so or the next couple of months to get rid of this scheme or change it to make it work for everyone because at the moment we're obviously engaging in constructive dialogue you know trying to be constructive in dialogue but okay. i want to see you know some action something to, you know being done otherwise you know you guys could wait till you guys are out elected out and yeah. um, you know complete waste of um, you know yeah. Yeah, that. so Yasmin spoke to the I'm asking you. Are you ready to respond? Yasmin, are you ready to respond or? Yes, of course I can respond to you. Um, and and taking in reverse order, um, I, have been, I have been representing this area for a considerable length of time and it's been one of the biggest privileges of my life. I really enjoyed doing it and I'm, I'm glad that I've been able to help people in the area with their, you know, with, with, with whatever issues. And as far as representation is concerned, um, I have to say to you, uh, you will have been following the press. I, I am... Uh, not in the privileged cabinet position. I am, I am somebody who has stood up for various things um, that I hold dear to myself. Um, uh, and one of those currently is actually the Edmonton incinerator. I'm well, totally opposed to this. I don't think you're answering my questions. Yes, I'm, 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 uh, question. Sorry. I'm saying to you. Let's go first. Wait, wait, if you can let me finish, you know, just out of kindness. Uh, okay, firstly, um, where do you self, see yourself different from Ian Barnes? Do you, you know, your views, do you agree with the OTN or not? And what would you do, to, what would you change? I think I, I've, let me put it to you, I absolutely supported the idea of quieter neighbourhoods for... Okay, but not LTN. Okay, for the simple reason that it was, what we saw in Walthamstow looked good and we asked officers to look into it but actually, you know, we can all make mistakes and we learn over okay, time. Okay, so this was a mistake. And, and, and what we have <laughs> seen, what we have seen with the LTN and the way it's been implemented is not been good. What we have seen is that, you know, 
if if you ask me i want to obviously solve traffic problems in that area but maybe between two motorways this is not the way forward okay so, so what I'm would you asking... do for us in the next um, three to six months to change this achilles and then i'm handing to roland to oh sorry janet i just want to get short concise oh, on, yasmin so I'm quickly trying to get everybody in kieran i'm sorry achilles no, no, I'm, yeah, yeah thanks yeah um, so I think what, what, I, what I've been putting forward and what I will continue to put forward, and this is, I think, what I'm hearing from, from you and other residents, the issues, I mean, my starting point, as I said last time, my starting point is what were the original problems in the area? And the original problem was about Warwick Road and the, and the congestion that was caused at the North Circular Road. This scheme may have solved that, but it has had a knock on effect. It has brought on, on so many other issues that we now need to address as well, without actually losing the fact that that problem has been solved. Um, Councillor George, the, and do you what, mind if I, yeah. if, you know, just three short questions. One, what would you change in the next three to six months? Or what yeah. can you do? Um, yeah. Two, would you be standing? And three, where, where do you stand with Ian Barnes? this position right so, well i think the first the first and the third uh, I'll, I'll take together so my issues are around um pollution on the north circular road and around high worth road and and bow school will be big issues for me and the, and knock-on effects in places such as grenoble what are the knock-on effects there in terms of pollution that, that we can actually deal with and manage by making whatever adjustments need to be made and the residents along there. I think access to the LTM for emergency services and for services that provide uh, that the, the, the disabled users use is access for those to be able to come in and out uh, uh, without, without a problem. Uh -huh. um, and the third thing, and the third thing around that, around wow. access is a recognition and it's the point that yes, made is a recognition that people that people that live within within where you are is where you gravitate, where people a lot of people go to is towards Muswell Hill and Wood Green. When I lived in Bowes, when I lived on the on, on the North Circular Road, my mother worked in Wood Green. We shopped in Wood Green. That's where we went to. And I think there needs to be a recognition of that and, and, and actually cater how, for how can you get that opened up then? So you know. Um, you know, how long would it take and how soon can you get that opened up? So, you know, Warwick Road's close to up and then how can you improve access? I didn't ask, and I need to come to Roland, otherwise he won't have an opportunity before I close the meeting in eight what? time. Are you standing well, there, Achilles? Well, do, do you know, I... I've really enjoyed, uh, you know, I've lived, I went to school in, in Bowes, I've represented the area. You know, it, it, it's a long time to decide whether I'll be standing again, but I certainly enjoy being a a a a a, a councillor for Bose. It's something I, I enjoy. It's 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 something I'm very passionate about and enjoy doing, and and enjoy working with the people that that live in Bose. We'll take that as a yes. And Yasmin, back to the council. Uh, exactly, exa exactly the same position <laughs> where where Achilles is. Um, I think it's been one of the greatest privileges of my life. Okay. Um, whether I will Absolutely. stand again will very much depend on a number of factors. Right. Um, I, I have been bullied and I feel very badly about it. And I feel I haven't been able to represent my residents in the best way that I could in the <coughs> years before. Uh, and because of that, you know, I am a fighter, as I say, um, but I also have to think, you know, I have to think about it. Have you raised a complaint about the environment? Of course. I, I won my bullying oh. case. Good. Oh, okay, no, well, no. okay let's, let's, no. let's move on. I think if you want to serve us, I think actually it seems that you probably need to be moving to being independent, quite honestly, especially yeah. if you want to win in this area again. Um, you really need to be, if you want to start, I think you have a bit of a choice at the moment to stand up for us or stand with the council. They showed last night, they came out clean that this is a political decision and something they want to push through. Um, it's, 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 it's completely upside down. It is akin to designing a, a lock for a key rather than cutting a key for a lock. So they're actually serving up KPIs, key performance indicators built on the data collected. 
it, it, you know, it, 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 it's anti-science. A scientific experiment is you set it up and you continually try to disprove your theory, your hypothesis, to check that it's right. This is trying to fit the, make the hand for the glove. It's so, so wrong about how the whole approach, this is seen as a fait accompli as far as I'm concerned by the heads of the council. And you know, that's what I want to stand up for. I'm a Democrat above everything. I want to see due process followed for me and my community. I feel totally for Gary and his family and, and the, 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 the problems they have, they, you know, they have enough challenges in their life without having to worry about this. But I also will add to that, that there are many different problems in this area. There are many old people. There are many mm. people who are mm. petrified of the North Circular. There are many people who rely yeah. on the North Circular for work. There are many people who rely on the other side of the borough. You don't live here to be having half of yourself cut off. You know, this is a split community on its access. I'm not happy with this, choose your left arm to cut off or your right hand arm is bound to be road or north circular. That's not acceptable. Yeah. No. So what I really want to come on to is that, right, we've had six months of this now, six long months. We've had no proper disability engagement after all this time. We're seeing massive displaced traffic, despite the council acknowledging that we haven't had any normality throughout this whole <laughs> trial because traffic volumes are not right. Most people are not working in offices yet in London. It's gonna be opening up over the next few months, but we're seeing this chaos despite this. TfL transport figures have showed volumes down in traffic terms. We're still seeing horrendous displaced traffic. What I want to ask both Achilles and Yasmin here now is we are six months in, okay? There is a lot of data that has been collected by the council. They have that data. They're saying we're going to we expend, extend this trial for the full 18 months now. They are saying, Richard Eaton last night, I was expecting to give an update because this was meant to be the end of the trial period. He didn't feel there was anything to present, which I think is bizarre after six months. Of trial, but there's nothing to show at all. Not only that, how long has Harringay's consultation been open for their heat map and their consultation what is it a month is it weeks already weeks. there are hundreds and hundreds of comments i would like you to go back to ian barnes and the council and and richard eason and say we would like the raw data published for all of us to see that they have collected so far harringay have that out in the open why can't we are we not allowed to see what our neighbors mm. are saying are we, they don't have to put names in there. You could just put these are all of the responses. Let's have the raw data. Could you ask that for us? Please give us a nod. Yes. Yes. OK, that would be wonderful. Can, Next can I, thing I want to say what? quickly, uh, can we have a heat map for Enfield? Can we have a heat map like Harringay's got? And now I'll let you answer those points. Sorry, Achilles, come in. No, I was going to say what I touched on earlier, what I mentioned earlier, uh, Roland, is, is that I, I, I've been had correspondence with the chief executive of Renfield Council, where, where I have asked to, for information on which roads are being monitored, to provide data, to provide me with traffic data on those roads over the past 12 months, and data from TfL with regards to bus journey times. Um, so we, I think I think when did you ask for that and how long have they given you? Because so Achilles, we're six months in, we've seen no yeah. data. We haven't yeah, well, seen the data. Yeah, and so so I started off and and, and I think you all know, uh, or well, perhaps you don't. I, I've been asking for a long time. I, I, I asked, what are the KPIs right from the beginning? What did you monitor? What did the officers monitor before they introduced the scheme? And what are they monitoring now? So we can make that comparison. So I've been asking that from day one, practically. I know. And um, why are you able to? Can you not say to them, I cannot have anything to do with this scheme because until you give me KPIs, how can you have a trial yeah, and, without and, and, KPIs? And, 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 and Roland, Roland, we haven't stopped asking for that because I think as a way of measuring, of knowing whether the scheme is a success or not, Whatever what the, KPI the, is. whatever That's success what KPI is, is. What, yeah. yeah, whatever success is, whatever success is, you can't do it unless you have you, okay. you have KPIs. And I agree, Achilles. So, so, I, so could you not say to them, 
okay, if I don't have the K, if Yasmin and I and Catherine, who unfortunately isn't with us, if we don't have those within one month's time, we are going to become independent councillors because we are failing our community. So, so, so let, let's see what they come up with in terms of that data, their objectives and that data. And then so that what, they've given you a time. Been they? We're That's six months in, Achilles. For. You've been asking now for this, Achilles, from well, day one. Well, We're well, six well, months well, in. What's your deadline? What's your deadline for KPI? They've told you already so, they're going to be making the KPIs so, from the data. So, yes, so, so, so thank you, Roland. Sorry, go ahead. Please. We've now gone six months in, which, which means that the experiment, are we still live? Yeah, yeah. Still, sorry, yeah we are. Yeah, still live. Yeah. I, think, I, thought, I thought I was frozen there. You did. So <laughs> now's the time where you, you know, that we, we can make that comparison to actually find out. So, okay, folks, that's a very clear. So, Yes. No, it's no. Janet. Janet, sorry, we're not cutting off here, are we? We are because it's no. Well, we have we have more time in the meeting, don't we? Bob? We have Is it more possible? time on the meeting, but Roland, I said to you, uh, we've all got lives here, and I know. Oh, well, okay, well, can we take a vote on who wants to carry on? Because I have questions, and this is a very important rare meeting. Achille, um, really? uh, Edith has changed his shift to be here tonight. Can we please take a vote on if we can stay on for a little bit longer? Roland, I put my arm up. Roland, you do this repeatedly, which is that we have time, we agree to use it, and you, then you want to extend it. We have we've had so little representation. I have questions I want to answer. I haven't even got on to the, the, the document that I received and back I, from our detailed questions. Give me Councillors, would it be okay for 10 further minutes or five or 10 minutes just to hear Roland out? In advance, and I had the questions that uh, I knew who wanted to ask them and they've all been given an opportunity to. So you're not happy to take a vote? One more question and then I'm going to close the meeting because it just isn't helpful to go on and on okay. and on. <coughs> well, I, I just- I'm not that. going on and on. I'm not going on, I'm just trying to come, I wanted to come on, okay, I'd like you to clarify. Hold on, hold on, Rowan, Rowan, hold on. Okay, let's all calmly look at this. Janet, you're right. We set an hour as a limit at the meeting at the beginning. I think if the, the eight or nine or 10 people who are here would like to go on for another 10 or 15 minutes, that's fine. But I think we set a limit on Roland for five minutes. That's it. And that gives everybody else another few minutes to comment, to close it out. I but, will agree with that. But okay, so uh, yeah. as I'm posting, it's okay, two minutes well, past eight uh, right now. We've got 13 minutes to quarter past. Roland, take off. You've got five minutes. If the councillors are happy to, uh, uh, Yasmin, okay. Achilles, are you happy? Yeah. Really well, I appreciate it's... you. Thank you. Uh, thank okay. you, councillors, for staying on. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry. I've been so invested in this. This is, this has gnawed my life up. I have two children and a wife, and it, it, it's taken up so much of my time and my work time as well. So I am very invested. I do apologise if I sound a bit heated and passionate sometimes, but. I, I cannot tell you how stressful this has been. And I'm sure it's been stressful for you too. So really what I want to clarify is the um, response that we received from our letter for after the last meeting, um, was this passed to uh, Enfield Council, Healthy Streets to, to um, with, with these questions? Just a yes or no answer really from Yasmin and Achilles on that. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, was this, uh, can anyone hear me? Yasmin and Achilles? I can hear you. Sorry, was this, yeah. was Some this? of them, not all of them. Some of them are, are one. Um, can I say that we had, uh, sorry, Achilles, are you speaking? I don't know. I don't know, he can't hear, we can't hear him. <laughs> well, let me tell you that I asked for, for an emergency meeting. For uh, I, I, are you hearing me? I asked for an time. emergency meeting with the chief executive a week ago and Achilles and I went there and we asked them, we asked him a number of questions in relation to the lower traffic neighborhood. Okay. One of them has been acted on, I'm pleased to say. So we are wait, awaiting on the others. As far as we are concerned, and as far as I am concerned, 
I am now going through the chief executive to try and get pressure on the answers that I want, because I share your frustration, uh, 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 Roland. I share it very much. I do appreciate these council projects are large, lots of no, moving yeah. parts with COVID and all the okay, rest of okay. it. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, it's my time because I, I, you know, in terms of I've only been given five minutes. What I want to know is, will you both support the notion that the residents directly affected through being kettled in this scheme, through being a cul-de-sac of the North Circular or the Bounds Green Road if it's split, will you accept and Palmerston Road and the, or for, for across the whole area of the scheme, will you support us ultimately deciding if this scheme stays or goes? Yes or no? It's up to you, of course, it's not up to well, us. So we will be given a referendum of some description, will we? Absolutely, your views should be the ones that count. Okay, well, will the council take it? Now. Will they, we haven't been counted till now, so I really want you to stress Democracy is the most important thing to me. I don't care about party politics. I want, I, I want due process followed. And the next thing I really want to stress, I want you to go back to the council and let them know that it's, it's unacceptable that we are getting faceless letter responses. Yeah. I am sick of getting letters from the council signed off from the place. I want the name of the person responding to me and the place underneath. You know, it's all smoke and mirrors. It, there's no accountability, and I want this done. And I've specifically asked a number of points in the past to be answered by a trained traffic professional, such as David Taylor, who's head of transportation. These are life and death matters involving slow road, moving roads in the North Circular. And yet, when I ask for David Taylor to respond, I hear nothing and everything gets bounced to Richard Eason and it's not acceptable. He is not a trained traffic professional. He's ex-Navy and he's had a mechanic shop. I don't know for bicycles and it's not fair that he's answering questions of a life and death nature on this. Um, sorry. Uh, okay, Roland, that's time. Is it? Everybody okay, else, I'll like, bow what? out. Thank you, but we do need these to be more regular. If the, when the webinar's done, I would like it to be with the council. What I didn't like about um, Councillor Callascan's last time, it was very controlled. Okay. You're no frozen. Frozen. Thank you, Yasmin. Right. He's frozen. Raise your <laughs> hand if there's something you want to say before we close the meeting. Just thank you to everybody. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you, Councillor Achilles. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, not can, can, easy, can I, right? You, and there was the passions and frustrations here. Yeah, you know. Um, but this, we do, we are in touch with local people. I sent you this week. I did a manual vote in Evesham Road. Yes, in it, but a fantastic thing you did. People, you know, of our residents do not want this. But there are people who Janet. send in replies to, you know, complex online surveys. And I know it would be replicated in all of the streets. So, you know, we are actually in a majority and we do need to keep working to make sure that this changes. Before we go, there are 5,000 of these have been printed, which is saying about the consultation closing for this on the 26th. It's <coughs> not clear. On, I went on the Enfield Council website to check on Let's Talk when it's closing and I was expecting it to say, Get your comments in, closing soon. There is nothing on there. Doesn't even give a final date. I've just gone from the six months from when it started. So, and the other thing I didn't get answered, which I'd really like to know now, Yasmin or Achilles, is as this is now being expend, extended to 18 months, does that mean this consultation is not closing and we will have those months in which to give data to? Can you confirm that? That would be helpful if you could find that out for us. And mm -hmm. so they don't know that. OK. And can we have a heat map? Can you ask Let's, for a heat map? Uh, Roland, let other people talk. Yeah, sorry. The only other thing I would say <laughs> is um, if, if the consultations are extended to 18 months, which is has, please can you just provide us with the KPI and the data points just to say this means there's high or traffic is a problem and this doesn't. So when the results do come out, we don't, you know, if they're below a certain thing, the LTN scrapped. Um, or something else is put in because at the moment we you know it feels like the horse and the car um basically we get told the results oh, and then the these are the data points which is yeah mm. 
Ridiculous. Tony, uh, want a word? Who's, coll who's collating all of this? The data. Yeah, the data. Who's collating it all? Is it just Enfield Council? Oh, is it Enfield Council? Yes, Richard Eason, probably. Healthy streets are doing that. No, yeah. no, I, I that's, think not, it, that's, no, yeah, really. that's not true. No, I that's think not the right. only way that the data can be validated is if the KPIs, if it's going to be extended to 18 months, then the KPIs and all the standards need to be established now after six months to give us something to have an understanding of. They failed to provide those now. If they don't provide them now and they extend it to 18 months with no standards, with no validation points, with no way of verifying the information, then everything they're theoretically going to feed back to us will have absolutely no value. Uh, of course. Yeah. Well said, Bob. Now, I, wait, I need a last yeah. word because I haven't had the answer. Are you going to ask that the six months of raw data is published for all of us to see, because I, Harry I have Gay agreed, have got I have said open. that. I have said that. Have you asked have, for that? Have you? you I, I have for. given you an undertaking that that is exactly what I'm going to ask for. Okay, you are. That's wonderful. Um, and the very final thing is, can you confirm that you both put in representations regarding the gas storage sites where they want to build a 20-story tower next to one of the busiest junctions that? on the North Circular? I want that area to be wooded, and I want them to build on the home base and car park only. Will you be putting your representations in or have you put any representations in on that? I must confess, I, I have not. That, that's at the and bottom I, of Station Road. Yeah, the Station Road by the by Builder Depot. Yeah. Achilles, have you put any representations in? Will you be? Frozen. I think Achilles is frozen. No, but if, if, you, if, you write to me, if you write to me in terms of what you'd like to see there, I'm happy to, I'm happy to put that forward. Yeah, but don't you have an opinion on what you want to see there? Do you want to see 20 story tower of the most vulnerable families, well, right well, meters well, from the North Circular? Well, well, Roland, one of the things that you, that, that we were asked in that letter that you sent to us yeah. is about 20 story towers. And I was yeah. very clear, as I think Yasmin was, in that we have argued and voted against those. And, and in terms of everything that has gone on, the development by, by Notting Hill on the North Circular Road. So, so I think my, my stance is, is clear on that. So yeah, um, but therefore you need to get representations into that effect. And, and Yasmin hasn't put but, them in but, yet, and you haven't confirmed you will yeah. be putting those in. Well, Roland, you see, the, the, the thing is you need, you need to please write to us because you see, this is actually outside our ward. Yeah, and it's outside, but you can still ward. represent, uh, it's outside my and, ward too. And, and I can from, still have a say. I, I, no, no, absolutely. And I think from the point of view of infrastructure, this area can't take it. The North Circular Road has no infrastructure to take 20 So, stories. So the idea of the LTNs is to cut pollution on the roads. So you're happy to let the most vulnerable families in the borough meters from the busiest road in the country. I'm just not getting the joined up thinking. No. Am I am I the only one? Is this no is no this no? Alien? We have we have. Roland, I have argued Roland, about I'm, I'm sorry. Can, can, I in in can I just come in on that? Can I just come in on that? Because I think Roland, what you've just said is just is really unfair. Uh, in terms of what we have been saying about the LTN and traffic on the North Circular Absolutely. Road, in terms of how we have argued very strongly that we don't want to see more traffic and pollution on the North Circular Road because of the amount of social housing that, that social Absolutely. housing and the people that live there. You try and turn that around and say that we're willing to put people into high rise flats, 20 no, story flats. I will flats turn it around because you're pollution. supporting you an administration that's planning that. Those haven't been built yet. They're about to be built. They're in the planning process at the moment. So I'm saying <laughs> Enfield Council has just agreed next to the A10, 20 story flats right by the A10 busy junctions with no green space around. So it's like, I just and, don't and want, Roland, I don't know how you can support sorry. an administration that are pushing for this Roland, to happen. Roland, can I Roland, say you, Janet, you may, may I? Word, Janet. Don't call it that. This I, sending the issue can to I, the really, I can't hear anything. May I thank you all? I need to go. I'm in another meeting. I'm so sorry. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you Yasmin. Thank, thank you, Yasmin. Councillor Georgiou, can you just um, chase my um, yeah. Yeah. The questions I've sent? We'll, like, we'll arrange we will. another meeting uh, because this is ongoing business and it's important. Thank you all for your time. Have a thank you.
Thank you. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks. Remember to Bye -bye. offer to help you. do this. Bye. Remember Bye. to help. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks, Marilyn. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bob, are you going? I'll see you later, everyone. I'm, I'm you. I'm gonna, should we wrong. stay a second and talk, or is everyone done now? Uh, well, I'm you're hosting. Me, Roland, what do you want? Oh, that's all right. Well, I mean, I want you to kill Achilles. Uh, your internet connection hasn't been great, which hasn't helped because you just keep freezing up and I can't see you. You know, we can't hear you or, or see. You're yeah. frozen now. There's yeah. Achilles there. Gone now, I think. I think he's gone. Okay, his fridge, picture's frozen. Okay. Um, well, look, thanks, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I am very passionate. I ha this has occupied too much of my life. Uh, I'll no, probably of course, have it's not just it yours. Yeah. Anyway, because I won't be able to live here and operate out of this i rely on the road network for my living and uh, i didn't this wasn't in the labor party manifesto of 2018 quieter neighborhoods were which are 20 mile an hour zones and uh, and traffic calming which i'm all in favor of and uh, so I, the mandate just isn't there and we're just guinea pigs and uh, and they you know i really am very disappointed yeah so am i you know, all, uh, we'll see and each Bob, other again yeah, thanks for doing the street Thank lab you, Bob. as well. See you later. Yeah, no worries. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.